Hello there everybody, uh, Dan Calloway here, and uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I wanted to make a video to um, today to show you my latest um, uh, daily driver, and it's going to be my uh, persistent daily driver, I'm sure, because I've uh, regained my, uh, my love of Arch Linux. Uh, I've been doing a lot of distro hopping lately, and um, as I call it, uh, chasing the distro skirts, and uh, and I've just I've settled on Arch now because I've I found a, a much easier way to install it, and I don't want to hear it from the Arch purists saying that if you don't install Arch by compiling uh, the code and running the scripts uh, only, that that's the only way, and then anything else is non-Arch. That's bull. Um, you can use an installer for Arch, and in fact, uh, back in 2002. Arch had an installer called the AIF, the Arch Installer Framework. So, don't want to hear it from the purists. All right, so I'm running Arch here, and I'm I use the Zen installer, which is a new installer for Arch, and uh, it's it's really developed a great system for me. I mean, this thing is stable, rock solid, secure, um, very responsive. Um, I've got it up and running right now, and uh, let me just to go into the terminal here, and uh, I've had it up for a while, so it's probably going to be uh, not the same as it would be at idle or on a reboot. Um, right now it's running, uh, let me just pull up HTOP, it's running 812 meg out of uh, 8 gigs um, out of the box here. It's been running for a while, about 3 minutes, I mean 3 hours. Uh, 11 minutes, so it's it's only pulling 819 megs out of 8 gigs. Not bad. Not using any swap. Um, TPU is doing pretty good. I've got dual core here. Um, we got 56 tasks running, 109 threads, uh, two two processes running now down to one. It's, it's fluctuating between one and two. Load averages are pretty good. 1.51. Uh, for 5 minutes, 0 0.75 for 15, and 0 0.48 for 30. I believe that's the way we read those. Uh, anything under 2 is excellent uh, on the load averages since I am running a dual core. So that's not bad for uh, for Arch Linux. I'm really happy with it. Let me go ahead and close uh, HTOP. And let's take a look at what we have here. What I've done is I've taken and installed um, Arch Linux with an XFCE4 uh, desktop environment and um, with this environment it's lightweight uh, already but I've solarized it and uh, and so that was uh, eh, it wasn't too bad to do um, this uh, required me to do some tweaking uh, window manager tweaking and some window manager uh, changes and modifications also required me to make some changes in the panels. I moved this, which is in XFCE, was uh, this panel here is down at the bottom and it looks totally different. I've moved it over here. I've added the Adweta icons into the mix and I've changed the theme to Solarized. I went up on the web and got the Solarized theme and I created uh, two. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, let me just open up the panel, I mean not the panel, but uh, let me just go ahead and open up the desktop here and let me open the folder and get in. <clears throat> and so here I've got I've got the uh, hidden folders and files turned on. And so under home data pioneer, which is my home directory, I've created two folders, one called dot themes and one called dot icons. Uh, if I double click and open up the dot icons, you can see I've got the Corla uh, icon theme here, which I installed initially, but I had to change it back out to Adweta. And the reason for it is I found out that Corla um, icon themes um, actually breaks uh, the add remove programs or the package manager. So I had to uh, get rid of that. And so let's go back in here and now dot themes, and you can see I've got the solarized dark, which is a zip file that I uh, extract it out and uh, put it in this location and so when I do that it actually comes up where you can uh, grab it as a theme um, alright I've 
got uh, I've got a uh, digital clock here out on the desktop uh, showing the minutes and it's uh, in seconds and hours. That's in um, 12 hour format. Over here I've got a four workstation workspace. Uh, very easy to set up. I've got wireless connected here to my wireless uh, LAN. I've got Octopi uh, notifier running. Uh, I've got uh, a notification here that my system is up to date uh, and also have the logout. All right. So what I did was uh, if I click on this here which let me go back out again which is the applications menu <clears throat> and I come up here to settings and come across to appearance here you can see that I've got the Adweta Dark appearance set up and for icons I have the Adweta icons I did have Corla but as I told you it broke it um, for fonts I uh, let me click on that I've got the uh, Sans 10 here and the mono space and for settings here I've got the icons toolbar set up okay so let's go back out again let's take a look at uh, some other things under settings and under window manager um, I have the solarized dark uh, theme that's set up that wasn't there out of the box when I installed the solarized dark from extracting from the zip file on the web um, that placed the solarized dark in this list here and so I just grabbed it clicked on it set it up all right uh, if I go back out here to settings and window manager tweaks and come over to compositor uh, I also did some other things here, <coughs> excuse me, which was to turn on the opacity here for windows during move and windows during resize. Okay, so it gives some opacity and also opacity to uh, a little bit less opacity to the pop up windows. So, what that does is uh, let me open that window back up again, didn't mean to close it. Uh, let's go to settings and go to manager tweaks. If I go to move this window you notice how there is opacity in that window and if I go to resize the window uh, there's opacity in it as well during the resize. All right, And that was set up in the window manager tweaks. Okay so let's take a look at what we have. Um, got the terminal emulator, uh, file manager, mail reader, I don't have a mail reader right now set up, web browser which is Firefox uh, and that was set up originally uh, during the installation by the way. Under settings you've got the settings manager, accessibility, add remove software which is really nice. I can look at uh, adding and removing software, I can search for software and add it if I want. Um, and this is all the software that we have. The AUR, which is the uh, Arch user repository, is I got tens of thousands of uh, of applications in it. So it's just amazing how much is there. The repositories themselves, I've got the core repository, extra community, the revenge repo, and the spooky AUR. All right. A lot of a lot of stuff here. Here are all the installed applications that are running. Here are any orphaned applications, and there's none found. Here are some explicitly installed, and then some foreign, and there are no foreign set up right now. All right, so let's check for updates here while we're in here, and uh, checking for updates. It says my system is up to date. All right, I can do that as well by opening up the terminal. And let me just take and bring us up to full screen. And I'm going to run sudo pacman dash or tick, sorry, capital S Y Y U, and enter the data pioneer password. It's going to go through the repositories, sync those, uh, and starting a full system upgrade. Um, 
says there's nothing to do, so I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, while we're in here, we clear the screen. Let me do a uname dash a uh, to look at the uh, information for my host name, which is Linux Arch Linux 2018 dash laptop. The kernel that I'm running right now is 4.20.4 dash zen 1 dash 1 dash zen. Okay. And um, I am running the 64 bit version of Arch Linux. Let's do a free M, TAC M, and that tells us the free memory and use and free. I'm um, using 727 megs out of a total of um, 6,844 megabytes with 6,267 megabytes free. Uh, I'm running um, a total of 4095 megabytes of memory for swap. And so uh, but I'm not running any swap right now, so we've got 4095 free. <coughs> Let's do a df attack h. And you can see the actual setup here that I have uh, with dev sda1. Uh, 860 gig hard drive, which is actually a tera hard drive. I'm using 10 gigs of it with 916 gigs free. So I'm using 2% of the drive, so that's very good. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's get back into the applications now and see what else we have. So we have appearance, desktop. Let's get into desktop. And I have um, set up a uh, folder here that has a bunch of of my own wallpapers here and this is the one I'm using right now this is the uh, arch wallpaper okay and uh, I'm in looking at the XFCE folder here that I have set up let's go ahead and close that so this is the arch wallpaper that I'm using and it's solarized uh, to go along with the solarized theme alright so Desktop, we've got display. Uh, we click on display. You can see I've got the 1440 by 900, which is the display for this laptop, which is correct. So that looks good. Uh, let's come back in here and go down to settings and keyboard, mouse and touchpad, network connections, notifications, panel, power outage. We've got print settings, uh, removable drives and media. Uh, a settings editor, software update, Windows manager, Windows manager tweaks that I showed you earlier, uh, workspaces, and the FS XFCE terminal. Okay. We come across to accessories, got the application finder, got the arc extractor, um, got the bulk rename, clipman, got the deepen calculator, mouse pad. Uh, notes so I can write notes on the screen. Uh, reboot Arch. Never. <laughs> okay. Don't need to. All right. And you can keep these on the desktop if you want, just as a reminder while you're working. Okay. So under let's see under education, we've got uh, LibreOffice Math under graphics. LibreOffice Draw, and they've got the Ristretto Image Viewer, which is excellent, by the way. Uh, got the GNU Image Manipulation Program, which is GIMP, and it's the latest version, 2.10, uh, which it comes uh, standard with the uh, AUR. The nice thing about uh, Arch Linux is you get the cutting edge, or I call it the bleeding edge applications, because um, it's you don't need to update the system uh, you know when new updates come out you don't need to upgrade rather uh, because it's constantly upgraded uh, it's a rolling distro and so you get the latest and greatest uh, applications uh, as soon as they're developed pretty much and uh, that's what I like about Arch is because it's a rolling distro and so here we've got the latest and greatest we got the GIMP 2.10 uh, very nice all right, so let's go back in here to applications. Let's go to um, internet. We've got the 
SSH server, VNC server. We have Firefox. Let's take a look at the version of Firefox that I'm currently running. And um, it should be the latest as well. As soon as it comes up, I'll get in where we can take a look at it. All right, so let's go over here and let's go down to help and about Firefox. And yeah, we're running Firefox Quantum 64.0.2 64-bit Mozilla Firefox for Arch Linux. So this is de developed specifically for Arch Linux, branded for it. Yeah, it's a great browser. Um, I like it. I wouldn't use any other browser. All right, so let's get back in here. Let's go down to the internet again. And I've got the, the GNU FTP client set up and I've got a six terabyte personal cloud that's located on my uh, home network at 192.168.1.157 here is my username Dan Calloway and I've got a password I left that field empty so that it prompts me for the password I don't save it in here so let's go ahead and connect to it and show you how easy it is click that it's prompting me for my password put that in click connect and I'm connected. Uh, so this is my six terabyte personal cloud we're looking at. So let me get into the public side and let's go to shared pictures and I want to bring the Mac standard folder over with the pictures that I have. So let me come back over to the local system and go down to the pictures folder or directory. I've already got a bunch of stuff here. I've got a fog directory and uh, a bunch of other files. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Mac standard folder from my personal cloud. So it's doing it very quickly. It's up to 77% and it's complete. So now I've got the Mac standard over here. Let me go ahead and close this. And let's get into the pictures directory to show you that it did come down. Let's open the folder. And there's the Mac standard. So uh, all those files that were up on the personal cloud now are on my local system. Uh, I love my personal cloud because it's under my control, my administration, and I've got security on it. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's get back in. Um, under multimedia, we've got Audacity, that's his audio sound player, Parole Media Player. QTV4L2 test utility and video capture utility, simple screen recorder, which is what I'm using right now for uh, recording this video. Got the VLC media player installed, and then we've got something called XF Burn, and I, I'm assuming that is the XFCE Burn utility for burning DVDs and CDs. Under Office, we got the full LibreOffice suite, the, the dictionary. Let's get into Writer and let's see what version of Office we have. Should be six dot something. I'm sure it's the latest version uh, in the De December 30, 2018 snapshot, which is what we're running right now. So let's get into Help and About LibreOffice, and I can see that we're running version 6.1.4.2, build 614-4. Okay. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is the latest version of LibreOffice. All right, let's close it and let's get out of Libra and get back in. See how responsive this uh, operating system is? Very responsive. I love it. Under System, we've got Add Remove Software. And so here, um, here's the Add Remove. I think I already showed you this earlier. Let's go ahead and close that. Um, Go back. Multi, let's see, multimedia. We've got you know, Office System. There we go. Uh, Avahi Zero Conf Browser. Bulk rename. HTOP. Uh, Octopi. Octopi is kind of like the Synaptic Package Manager in uh, Debian-based and Ubuntu-based systems. This is what it looks like. And you can use this to uh, install applications as well if you don't want to use the Add Remove programs. All right, and it uses the full uh, AUR for Arch, which is massive. Uh, it's the most number of applications I've ever seen in a distro of Linux. All right, so system here, we've got uh, print settings, uh, sensor viewer, software updater. If you don't want to do it via the terminal, you can do it this way. 
task manager for, for closing tasks out, kind of like Windows. Okay, so I can actually end the process here. You can do that in HTOP as well, but you can use task manager if you don't want to use that. Under system here, again, we've got the Thunar file manager. I'm going to put PC Man FM on here later because I like PC Man FM. UX terminal, uh, XFCE terminal, and an Xterm. So Xterm is more of the Unix based. So you've got three different types of terminals, including uh, the standard terminal emulator here as well. Uh, under system, I've got the rest of those about XFCE. This tells a little bit about it running version 4.12 for Arch Linux of the XFCE, which is a very lightweight uh, desktop environment, by the way. Okay, so this panel over here, uh, as I said, was down here, and I turned it vertically. Uh, I moved it over. I hid the shadowing on it. I solarized the panel, matched the color to this actual uh, background of the uh, wallpaper that I have here. So it looks like it's kind of hidden here. Um, on the uh, desktop itself, uh, and that's pretty much uh, Arch Linux. Uh, if I do a right click on the desktop, I can open a new window. I can create a launcher. I can create the URL, a URL link. I can create a folder. I can create a document, an empty file. I can arrange the desktop icons, but I have no icons out on the desktop. That's by design. I'm going to go with the new paradigm that desktops out on the, or icons out on the desktop rather, or passe, and so it makes it cleaner, neater, crisper looking. Desktop settings, properties, and applications. So I've got an applications here. I can access these applications from just right clicking on the desktop instead of having to come up here and uh, and do it this way. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, We'll go ahead and shut down the system and have a nice day.